A marine artist who spends months of the year selling his artwork at fishing tournaments in places like Cuba, Costa Rica, and the Dominican Republic is here in eastern North Carolina, Carolina this week <laughs> for the Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. That's right. WNCD's Courtney Allen takes a closer look at his art and how it benefits those here in the east. Each year, Big Rock chooses a featured artist to make a piece of art to auction off at the award ceremony at the end of the tournament. Wilmington-based Steve Goyone has been the featured artist at least 10 times more years than anyone else. In 2017, his art sold for a tournament record of $25,000, and he's hoping to beat that record for the tournament's 60th anniversary. Using watercolor, pen, and ink. Three to four hundred thousand little points in here. Wilmington based marine artist Steve Goyone. Make the fins look dimensional. Makes the big rock landing come alive. Capture the reflections and the details in the boats. Goyone is the tournament's featured artist for the second year in a row. He says his inspiration for the piece came from this bronze sculpture of the Blue Marlin. Why I was here last year, I was just, uh, couldn't take my eyes off the fountain. It's the epicenter of Big Rock Landing and it really, it's what this event is all about. The art includes subtle details like a Jarrett Bay boat, the event's major sponsor. You can also see the Big Rock Landing way scales complete with a sign commemorating the 60th year. It wasn't until I started watercoloring in the boat in the Big Rock Landing, that's the time this piece, that's when it hit me. I said, okay, we got it. It's, it's telling the story. Events coordinator Teresa Holcomb says that story is exactly what they were hoping for in this year's art. Something we have wanted for a long time it features our way station, the boats and the marlin itself, the three key elements that are the basis for our event. But the event is more than just boats and marlins. Proceeds from the tournament, retail sales, and the auction at the end of the week benefit local charities. Tournament director Crystal Hesmer says Goyon's artwork auctioned off for a big rock record last year. When Steve raised the $25,000 in that one piece of art, that was just another chunk of wonderful funds for our foundation um, that goes back to our charities. Big Rock has raised $4.9 million in the past 60 years for charity. They hope to surpass the $5 million mark this year, and Goyon hopes to surpass that $25,000 mark on this year's featured art. Knowing that something that I created is just helping these charities and the people appreciate it that much, um, that just puts a cap on the, uh, the whole event. Last year, the tournament raised more than $600 thousand dollars for local charities. Goyon says it takes just a couple of generous boats in the audience to push them to their goal. The event starts Saturday night at 7 p.m. Courtney Allen, nine on your side.